Hi, I'm Mark Tuart, and uh, I'm the author of this book, How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules, and Succeed While Doing It. But uh, the reason I want to talk to you today, I just want to share a little story with you. Uh, this is January, and coming up January 31st marks the seventh anniversary of my last cancer treatment. I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. I work out five, six days a week. I eat well. I take care of myself. But yet, seven years ago, I developed a, a form of cancer that I never would have dreamed that uh, I would have had that occurs about 98% of the time in heavy lifetime smokers. And once again, I've never smoked in my life. So the reason why I tell you this is during this cancer treatment that I went through, which was uh, seven long weeks of everyday treatment, of losing 30 plus pounds very quickly, going through a lot of side effects, etc. What I decided in the very beginning, after I went through the shock and awe of hearing the diagnosis, was that I was cured. That was my first declaration, and that happened 15 minutes after I got the diagnosis. I told myself I was cured, and that I believed it, and that I would live it. I made my doctor promise me that he also believed what I was saying. I told him if he didn't, he couldn't be my doctor. I also developed a plan. I believe you have to educate to motivate. So I probably read 20 books in the quickest period of time you could imagine about the type of cancer I had, cancer in general, uh, health. I read about uh, diet and the things that could support you during cancer, etc. And I developed a game plan. Why? Well, I think you got to have a game plan to reach your goal. So every day that I would go into this treatment, I would get there very early and in my car in the parking lot, I would uh, visualize. I would visualize uh, a strong man sitting on my steering wheel making strong man poses, but he would leap into my throat and it was kind of like Pac-Man. And that strong little Pac-Man would eat all the cancer and then he would jump back out on that steering wheel and jump out of the window. And then I would picture that part where my tonsil had been that had been inflicted with cancer of getting well, of getting pink like a newborn baby. And I would envision myself at that point being cured. And I would uh, talk to myself in terms of being cured. Now, you may think it's weird, but what my brain and my heart and uh, my belief system can make happen, I can manifest into my outward world. I'm not saying that people that have died of cancer didn't believe enough. Don't get me wrong. I'm just simply telling you my story. And I had a little regimen that when I walked in every day, I would walk in with a smile on my face to make sure the people that saw me, if they were in greater need of, than I was sitting in that room waiting for treatment, that at least they got to see somebody with a smile and not with dread. And that the people that would treat me would see my smile and not a person walking in with dread. And I had a regimen, a health regimen. I ate a certain way, I drank a certain way, I exercised a certain way, and by the end of my cancer treatment, when they said I would not have a lot of uh, strength and energy, I was walking five miles every single day. And 11 days, I think it was afterwards on January 11th, I did what they told me I couldn't do, which is I spoke at the National Automobile Dealers Association Convention and uh, was very highly rated that year. They told me I wouldn't be able to speak, that I wouldn't have the energy, and it wouldn't be possible. And I told them they did not know me. Nobody can tell you and nobody can tell me what can be true. You get to decide. It's your choice. You choose to win. You choose to lose. So what I'm saying is at your worst potential time, I want you to educate yourself. I want you to create your own belief system. I want you to create your own game plan. And I want you to look at what you see as being the end in mind and creating that goal as if it's already there. And don't let somebody tell you that it's silly. People told me it was silly the way I ate. People told me it was silly when I visualized. People told me it was silly that I prayed. People told me it was silly when I wrote down what I wanted to happen. I cared less. Why? I didn't live for them. I lived for me. I lived for my family. And I knew what uh, I could uh, make happen if I believed it. So what I share with you is, at your worst possible time, don't let the world get the best of you. You're still in control. 
And if you're a believer, if you believe in God, you believe in the universe, whatever it is, if you could tap into that higher power, you can make some great things happen. My name is Mark Tewart. I wrote this book, How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules and Succeed While Doing It. If you'd like to get the first chapter for free, make sure you go to marktewart.com or tewart.com. That's T-E-W-A-R-T.com. You can call us at 888-2-TEWART. Thanks a lot and good selling.